shake your body, baby, do that phone guy. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body. Pinche gata, I'll get you. I want to go back to sleep. Liguana, if we don't help your sister, who else is going to? She already works long hours of the night trying to finish these dresses. Por fin, she's doing something productive with her life. I'm trying to be supportive. Honey, I don't want to go to the bakery. I don't want any bread. That's good. At least you won't get any fatter. Amma, I'm only telling you for your own good. Bueno, I'll go get the bread myself. But you better not get any when I get back. Anna, don't forget to close the door. The street is full of winos and drug addicts. And don't open the door to any strangers. Yeah, 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 I know, I'm not a kid. Monday, September 7th, 1987. I don't want to be here. I only come because my mother practically dragged me out of bed and into the car and into the factory. She pounds on the... She knocks on... No. She pounds on the garage wall, and since I think it's an earthquake, I run out. Then she catches me, and I become a prisoner. Is it selfish of me not to want to wake up every day at 6.30 a.m. to come work here for $67 a week? Oh, but such is the life of a Chicana in the garment industry. Cheap labor. I just graduated from high school. Most of my friends are in college. It's as if I'm going backwards. I've been trying to hint to my sister for a raise, but she says I don't work fast enough for her to pay me minimum wage. The weeks get longer, and I can't believe I've ended up here. Soon I will have my temporary residence card. And in two years, my green card. I'm happy to finally be legal, but I just thought things would be different. What I really want to do is write. Anna, open the door! Hurry up! There's a wino following me! Hurry, he's been following me from the bakery! Amma, that's not a wino, it's an alleluia. He was following me! I know, those witnesses don't give up. Listen, yo ya no veo. I can't see a thing. I should retire and be an abuelita by now, taking care of grandkids. I don't know why I work. I've had arthritis in my hands. I've lost my sight from all this sewing, and this arm it can hardly move anymore. Yeah, sure, I'm on. I wonder where's Estela? She should have been here by now. I thought she left early. Can you open the door? Buenos días, Panda. Como esta? Not too bad. I brought my mullet today for all of us. You did? You're so generous, Panda Carmen. It was in the refrigerator for three days, and I thought it was going bad. So I brought it. Why did it go to waste? Is it still good? Of course. I make great mullet. Panda Carmen, the door. It's open, lovely. Buenos dias. How are you? Okay, like always, Doña Carmen. I brought my mola today for us. Did you? Ay, oh. gracias. Well, number one on a diet. Just try a small taco. No te va a hacer daño. Try it. Mm, I'm sure it's delicious, but I'm this close to being a size 7. Si, sí, se te ve. How are you doing it? It's a secret diet. It's from the Orient. Mm. Those Japanese women are always skinny. Pues, give me your secret. Maybe that way I can lose this ball of fat. No más miren que parezco. You can't even see my waist anymore. But you know what it really is? It's just water. After having so many kids, I just stopped getting rid of it. It's as if I'm quality. <laughs> see, you don't got it. Yeah, sure, I'm on. Y tú, why did you laugh? You're getting there yourself. When I was your age, I wasn't as fat as you. I'm not. 
Where's this Stella? We don't know. Anna, maybe you should call home and check if she's there. Because her dog Mental is outside washing his car. He is? Two thousand dollars. 
I tried. I sent some money. I explained to them the situation two weeks ago. But I got a letter from their lawyer and they're taking me to court. So you had money two weeks ago? Okay. Hey, you told us you couldn't pay us because you didn't have the money. You had money! Here we are, bien pobres. I could barely pay for the bus sometimes. You care more about your machines than us. They're going to take everything. Good. They're going to repossess everything, and if I appear for court, they'll find out I don't have any papers. Then why don't you apply for amnesty? Because I won't get it if they find out about my lawsuit. You don't know that. It's so you should talk to this lawyer I know. I know you know I can't afford a lawyer. Ay, Estela. Ya ni la fría es. to pay me for the last two weeks and this week if we, do, if we get the work done by Friday. How much did the orders want? About 100 dresses. <laughs> no, hombre, by this Friday? Who do you think we are, machines? But they're not that difficult. Amma, you're so fast, this will be a cinch for you. All you have to do are the blusas on the dresses. Rosalie, the overlock work is simple. It's a lot, but you're the best at it. And Pancha, all you have to do is sew the skirts. The skirts are the easiest to sew. Now, Anna, with you doing all the ironing, you see, if we do little by little at what we do best, Andale, we can do it. What about to see, Anna? Sure we can. What about to see, Anna? Pues, we can try. Estela? We can do it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if the migra came and instead of taking the employees like they always do, they take the patrona? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't laugh, it could happen. I'm just gonna I'm just kidding, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Bueno, let's try to be serious. Yes, por favor. And Bancha, please do the hands on the screws. The machine is not working. Not again. There. It should be ready. Try it. Can you do the hands by hand? I guess I have to. Gracias. Anna, turn on the iron. When it gets hot, it's time to show you what you have to do. How about Rosalie with the zippers? Uh, no, I need you to do this one size 7 8. Didn't I already do them? No. Oh. We used to have been size 13 14 then. You could have because there is no size 13, 14 in this dress style, Mom. No? Oh, yeah, did you get any more pink thread from the glitz? No. Go ahead and use the overlock. That's already set up with thread. What does the overlock do? It's what helps keep the material from going Still up. How about you give me the thread from the overlock machine, and then when you get the thread, you can just set it up again. No, I don't know how to use that new machine. Rosalie can do that later. She knows how to do it. You know, Rosalie? So you don't need me. Why don't you just do what I'm asking you to do? I said, no se acepta. I know what's best. Uh, so do I. I want to do things differently. I want us to work like an assembly line. Leave that to the big factories. I've been working long enough to know. I haven't been working long enough to know, but I'm intelligent enough to know. Estela, 
my way is better. <laughs> why do you think your way is better? All my life, your way has been better. Maybe that's why my life is so screwed up. This guy said, I'm only trying to help you. Because you know I won't be getting married anytime soon, so you want to make sure I'm doing something productive with my life so I can support myself? I don't need your help. I thought we were arguing about the prayer. You know what I mean. And you know I'm right. Fine. If you want me to do the overlay work, I'll do it. I have to remember I work for you now. Oh, Mom, don't give me that. What? Guilt! Well, it's true. It's not usual that the mother works for the daughter. So I have to stop being your mother. Just be a regular employee that you can boss around and tell what to do. I'm not bottling. You are my mother, but sometimes you get out of line. How am I supposed to tell Rosalie and Francia to stop gossiping when it's you who initiates the cheese me? I see. Blame me. Echeme la culpa. You gossip too when it's convenient. Look, Mama, I don't want to argue with you anymore. I am frustrated enough at the thought that I might get deported at the sight of that machine. I thought that I'm the biggest fool for buying all this junk. I don't need my mother to make my life any worse. So, what are we going to do about the drive? Oh, and yeah, we're back to the same thing. Here. Bang up. I see. Bang up it. Bang up it. Go ahead, hit me. God's going to punish you for being an anahona. Still the iron is ready. I'm not it finished dress from the box. Where is it? Right next to you by the pile. What size? Or the mannequin. What size is it? It's a size 7, Dona Carmen. Thank you, Rosalie. Pay close attention to how I'm ironing this dress. You always, always use steam. I'm scared just a couple of strokes and don't put it all, por favor. Just make it look decent. It's real easy. Just don't burn it. Too. Okay. I mean, when the water gets smells so I can send you to the store to buy some more water for it. Why do we have to buy the water? Because regular water is too dirty. It needs to steal water for clean steam. Bonito. I would like to wear a dress like that. Especially if it turns into a slip to wear something like that. Yeah. But they're worth it. How much do they pay us for making these dresses? Estela, we get $13 for these, no? Oh yeah? And how much do they sell them for at the stores? They tell me they sell them at Bloomingdale's for about $200. Okay? <laughs> Dang. Okay, there's the lonchera. Lonchera's here already? I'm not just hurry back. Can you get me something? Um, how much are those tomato juices? A V? See, I think they're 80 cents. Do you want anything else? Mm, no. No, I'm not hungry. Anna, could you lend me a dollar? Again? What do you think I am, a bank? This is the third time. One can only go so far on $67 a week. And if you're so unhappy working here, go back to working at McDonald's. I would, but... Do you still want to borrow a dollar? Are you going to charge me interest? Of course. What do you want? Mm, a burrito. The chicharron. Pancha, do you want anything? Si, sí, bring me some tacos. Pancha, aren't you going to want some of my bole? I'm not bringing me tacos, no mouse. 
if you have any money left, you buy me some just water at the corner store. Anything else, boss? Mm. We're already going to hell for being a bunch of cheese moles, us. There's no use hiding it any longer. Don't just got them in. I was cleaning out the garage and I found a whole pile of our books. What's the name? Rubenesque Women Beauty in the Renaissance. I was born in the wrong time. They're so big and beautiful. No más, mirenla. She's so big. No me la vergüenza. Do you know they have such large women in art books? Maybe some men enjoy painting big women. What are you guys doing? You're supposed to be working? The food hasn't gotten here yet. Stella, come look. It's a dirty art book. Why are you looking at that? Ay, Stella, no más bien a ver. People this fat shouldn't be in paintings. <laughs> look, Stella, there's a guy in here that looks like your tormento. <laughs> Where? Stella, calm down. I thought it was an amiga. Sorry, I couldn't open the door with my hands. From now on, these doors are to remain closed and locked at all times. If you have to come in, you knock on the door like this. So we know it's just one of us. Don't ever kick the door again. Isn't that going a bit too extreme? Vamos a estar como gallinas en paradas. No, we just have to be careful. So, how do you do the knock? Knock once, then pause, then knock twice, then repeat. Well, if it makes you feel better. Yes, it would. What were you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. What are you hiding? Nothing. Nothing. We don't want to pervert you. You don't want to pervert me more than I could have already perverted you. It's a dirty art book. Let me see it! No! You're too young to be seeing this kind of thing. Fine. You've seen it once, you've seen it all. Anna! <laughs> Get? Repeat what you just said. Don't tell me you've been messing around. No, it's just that here you are thinking you can pervert me when I probably know more and I could already perverted you. Stupid. How is it that you know so much if you haven't done it? I read a lot. But just because you read a lot doesn't mean you know what's what. Yeah. It's 11.35. If we keep gossiping, people are going to know it's a sewing factory because even with the doors closed, <clears throat> excuse me, only women talking cheese men sound like chickens cackling. I mean, Try some of my money. It's only garment. It's green. It's green money. I mean, Anna, there, you haven't tried some of my money. Try some. No way. It looks young. I bet Rosalie, try some of my money. There's plenty. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. But you haven't eaten. I drink eight glasses of water a day, and water gets rid of fat. Anna, you need to start drinking eight waters. You too! Oh no, wait, you'll get clogged. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, Bunta? It's real good, Donna Garmin. Míralo, es Andrés. Estela con su tormento y el tormento de Dad Kyle.
No! Don't go to the window! Get away from the window! No one can see us! Make some look for me! I don't know if you can possibly see him. He doesn't even have good nagas. They're like this. He's cute and he likes me. I'm not. Why are you so preoccupied with the size of a man's butt? That's not what counts. Because your father doesn't have any. It's not. A, I thought you said that door would be remain closed. It's not a get away from the door. Because if the van passes, they'll just see the nopal on your forehead and take you away. But he wants to talk to me. He wrote me a letter. I wonder what he could possibly be telling her. She's laughing her head off. <laughs> Miren, como coquetea, what a flirt! You never suspected she had it in her. <laughs> She's worse than Anna. <laughs> What's that supposed to say? Mira, don't go to the mole. I know. Mama, if someone's going to kill you, what do I do? Hide the dresses. I oh, watch well, it coming. Uh, where do I hide them? Anywhere. When the cat is away, the mice come out and play. What were you doing? Nothing. I want to see. Show us the letter and tell us what you talked about. Oh, it's private. Come on, Estella. No te hagas de rogar. You know you want to show it to us. Commit beaches. He only intended for me to read it. <laughs> okay, I read it out loud. pass by and say hi. Wave two, because you're real smart. Wave three, because your eyes are like fresas and your lips are like mangoes, juicy and delicious, listos para chupar. Maybe he works in the supermarket in the food section. So how about it? You want to go cruising down Whittier Boulevard? watch a movie, or anything else you want to do? I told him I like the letter a lot. So we're going to the movies tonight. To the movies? It's so serious. But watch out for those wandering hands. He's not that kind of guy. So what are you going to wear? Don't go dressing like a scarecrow. I don't dress like that. That's why you scare them away. Como es, ama? Didn't you hear he likes me for me? He says I'm intelligent. He doesn't care how I dress. Let me make you a dress. Ahorita te lo coso. No! I can dress myself. And anyway, what are we doing sitting around? Let's get back to work. And the list. A trabajar.
There, are, there are no more dresses to iron. What else should I do? Pancha, can you show Anna what you're doing? I see Aslo. It's 3.45, another hot, beautiful day in L.A. This is Kayla Radio Moore from Back to Our Talk Show, Esperanza. For those of you who just joined us today, we are discussing abusive spouses. We have our last call on the line. Caller, are you there? Hi, I'm not going to give you my name because my husband listens to the station. I want to know what I can do to, um, I want to know how I can talk to him. How long has he been abusive? Uh, Or the church is telling her to endure, or she's doing it for the children. She's so young. Did it ever occur to you maybe she loves him? I'm sure she does, but as women, we can't allow ourselves to be abused anymore. We have to realize, we have to assert ourselves. We have to realize that we have rights. We have the right to say no, the right to control our bodies, the right to, sexual, to exercise our sexuality, the right to take control of our destiny. And it all starts when we start saying, Ya basta! No more! Come on, Ama, say it! No! What? Ama, say it! No! Okay, I won't. Ama, say no! No. Rosalie, say it! Pues, ¿por qué no? No. Pancha, say it! Ya, ya, Norma Ray, get off and get back to work! She run for office. I'm Pequena and she thinks and acts like she knows everything. I don't know everything, but I do know a lot. It amazes me to hear you speak the way you do. A women's liberation movement happened 20 years ago and you act like it hasn't even happened. Mira, all those gringos shouting about liberation hasn't done a thing for me. And if you were married, you'd realize it. And if you're so smart, how come you're not in college? Because we don't have the money. I have to wait a year to be eligible for financial aid. I always thought if you were smart enough, a college would give you a scholarship. Maybe you should read some more and get one so you don't have to be here making $67 a week and listening to, and listening to us talk the way we do. Ya llego mi viejo. Anna, get ready. Vámonos. No, Ma, you go. I want to finish that last pile. I'll take the bus. You do? I know why you want to stay. Metiche. Bueno, adios. Pancha, do you want to ride? Si. Adios, Estela. Adios. Good luck on your day with your tormento tomorrow. But not too good. I hope you don't have to go to confession tomorrow. Hasta mañana. So who is that? Maria. She called to wish me a happy birthday. Isn't that this Friday? Yes, but she also couldn't wait to tell me she's getting married in three months. She wants us to make her her wedding dress too. Anna. When El Tormento gets here, you have to leave. Why? Because I don't want you writing about it. I know what you do in the bathroom. Come on, Estella. Where else can I write? I come here and all it is is work, work, work from you and Ama. Then I go home and she still wants me to help her cook and clean. So, what are you writing? I'm keeping a journal so that when I become rich and famous, I can write my own autobiography. Anna, who do you think you are? and famous. Well, I'm not going to be stuck here forever. And I am? 
No, I didn't say that. Amaya Pao always said that you'd never do anything with your life, but here you are proving them wrong. And although we may be in a lot of trouble, you still own your own factory at 24. I'm very proud of you. Okay, Anna, you can stay. So when is he coming? In a few minutes. Not with me. Another day and we're in deep trouble. I keep having arguments with Bancha. And even though she doesn't like me, I feel sort of sorry for her. I wish I could tell her what to do. But like the rest of the women, she won't listen to me. They don't take me serious. They make fun of me. Why do I keep coming back? It's true. I stay because no matter how much my mother could try and force me to come back, I could decide not to come. But I do. So what happened? done to get you this upset. You're so stubborn, Emma. I said nothing happened. I'm just overreacting. Fine. Right. Remember, I'm your mother. If you can't trust your mother, who can you trust? in the garage. There's the old sewing machine there. I could do that, but I can't. I don't trust you. We'll work. Just go. Not be no. And you'll work? Yes. yes. What should it take with me to work on? I'll get my hymen to take you to work. Just go. He's out there. What? I guess so. 
I don't understand. Ana, let me in. I'm going to stick. All right. Be that way. I'll never tell you anything again either. It's so hot. I wish we had a fan in here. I don't want any of the dresses getting dirty with the dust. It feels just as bad as it did when I was doing the fries at McDonald's. Pouring the frozen sticks of potatoes into boiling lard and the steam hitting my face. I hate going to the store and climbing over the windows in the dope, sexist dope attic. I hate the smell of urine and marijuana on the street. This place stinks! I went to the store today. I saw an old friend. She's pregnant. Again. But she says she's happy and that she doesn't care she's living on welfare. I remember in high school, she told me that she always knew I was going to do something with my life. I don't want her to know I work here. Tony Carmen, why do you have that strange look on your face? I reached over to get the next dress and I felt something move inside. I think I'm pregnant. Tony Carmen, don't say that. You're almost 50 and have eight children. I'm barely 32 and can't have any. Um, How odd. I should be a grandmother by now. No puede ser. It can't be. Amma, don't tell me you still have sex at your age and at your physical condition. Cállense. I heard something on the news about a raid. A-N-X-W, used all the time. The time now is 2.35 p.m. 20 illegal aliens were captured today at the Good Night Table Factory. The INS was given a tip by anonymous sources yesterday of the factory illegal hiring of aliens. The owner was fined up to $2,000 per aliens. Estela, why don't you call the goods company and ask them? No. Demand that they pay for the past orders of dresses. Sure, they were late, but they had to pay us anyways. I don't want to be too pushy. They're the only company that were willing to give us a contract. Then do it for Pancho and Rosalie. You have to pay them. The las pobrecitas can't even buy groceries. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. Well, I'm not. Estela, just call. Here I go. Oh, I get it. The neighbor who works at the Southern Ninja Panic Factory is missing. I have a feeling they deported her. I'm so scared that one day I'll be waiting for the bus and they'll take me too. But you're legal. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> She would pay me for the last two weeks this Friday, but I was wondering maybe if it isn't too much trouble that I could get an advance check today. I know. I know. You're right, Mrs. Glitz. But my workers! I know. you're working on that. Okay, Mrs. Goods. I'm sorry. Yes, I'll see you on Friday. ¿Qué te dijo la vieja? Sí, 
did she tell you? She asked for my proof of employment papers again. Then she warned me that if La Migra shuts us down, she wouldn't pay us for any of the work we've done. Do you think she'd actually do that? Oh, Ma, why is this happening to me? I'm going to get deported, aren't I? Suppose you do get deported. We'll just get a coyote to smuggle you back in. Somehow we'll find the money. But then I would have let you and everybody down. I would have lost my self-respect. And I don't know if I could start again. Instead, your ba was thrown back four times. And he kept coming back. <laughs> if you do it once, you can do it again. I hope so. Do you realize you sewed all the size three, four skirts backwards? I did. No, I didn't. Look, this is the outside of the material and this is the inside. Have you been doing all the lots this way? I think so. Oh, no more repairs. Bancha, please do them again. No, it's so hot. I don't even feel like working. I didn't expect to work. How do you expect us to work with this heat? Pancha, I'll help you take them apart. Couldn't you open the door? No! I can't work like this. We're going to have to! Oh, Mom, what did I tell you about the mole? The stains are not so obvious. I, I was going to clean them, I swear. I just didn't want you to see them. And it's going to be hell trying to take the stains out! Not so close, you're burning the tool! Pay close attention to your work or don't do it. Have you been burning on all the other dresses too? Well, I thought if I did it this way, it would save us time. I can't stand the heat and the steam. Can't any of you do anything right? Do I have to do everything myself so that these dresses get finished? Bacha, don't pull on them or don't tear them. I said I was going to help you do the repairs. I want to get out of here and go home. You have to finish this work. Not in this heat. Can't you open the door? For the last time I won't. Then I'll open it. We're all burning in here. I'm getting dizzy. I'm sorry it's so hot, but the van may be out there and I don't want them to see anything. It's so selfish of you to keep the door closed when we're all burning. I'm burning too. But you're the one with the criminal record. It's not fair that we're all paying for your fault. We're all legal now. Then go. Open the door, then leave. All right, I'll leave. But what's not work? See what else I've done. Estela, parale. Basta! Stop, no se pelen, stop. Rosalie, Rosalie, are you okay? What could be wrong with her? It's this pinch of heat. See, Estela, this is all your fault. Here you have us all locked up. Rosalie, please wake up. Let's take her to the hospital. Que locura, the hospital's three blocks away. If we carry her there, the meat is gonna see us. I see, and entonces que quiere, you want her to die? She's not going to die. How do you know? Don't exaggerate. Wasn't Rosalie the only one who knew how to work the Inhoma? I don't think Pancha's coming back. She's only an hour late. Maybe she wanna go visit Rosalie at her house. Pancha's never late. Come back. Oh, it's just you. Come quick. 
to the window. There's a strange homeless person outside. What's so strange about him? I don't recognize him. So? I think he's in disguise. He doesn't look desperate enough. I've never seen him before. Ugh. I've never seen him before. I think he's a spy. <laughs> a spy? Look, there's Buncha. God, thank you. She's come back. But wait. He's talking to her. And she's pointing this way. I wonder what he's telling her. I wonder what she's telling him. Agos, here she comes. I guess he wasn't a spy after all. No, but just another one of his body friends. Hola de hijos cochinos. No good drug addict. Yeah! Stop talking about him! Are you defending him? After what he did? Mama, Estella finally told you? No. I was trying to get it out of her. Forget it. I'll never tell you what happened on our date. Whatever, Stella. We don't want to hear it anyway. Panchita, we thought you weren't going to come back. I'm like, well, after what happened yesterday, I have to come back to work. Even if I don't want to. I'm going to go visit Rosalie this morning. How's she doing? She's doing better. Is there any chance of her coming back this week? No sense. She looked real pale. I'm surprised I didn't faint myself. Maybe I'll get a fan. Estella, what do you want me to work on? I want you to finish the official study was working on. Estella, where's the line for the overlap machine? I'm gonna try to set it up myself. Mm. I used my cajon. We're just gonna have to manage working with ours. Anna, did you get the stain remover? It's on the table. How many dresses need washing? Twelve. I should put my mother to wash them. But since she'll be busy with the overlock, I guess I'll go. How many dresses have we finished? They're on the racks, and there are a couple in that box that just need ironing. That's all. More, but the tool was burnt on them. Oh, yeah. They were almost finished, but now the tool has to be replaced. Yeah, don't do that. Anna, can you go any faster? It's not that I don't do my work fast enough. It's just that whenever I finish ironing a dress, I look at it. I really look at it. I never realized just how much work Puro Lomo, as my mother would say, went to making it. Then I imagine it at Bloomingdale's and I see a tall, skinny woman looking at it for the first time. And without any second thought, she says, charge it. And then I shake the dress and try to remember that it's not for me. Then I place it on a hanger and try to push it away. It happens to me with every dress. What an imagination. So, what are you going to study when you go to college next year? Where are you going to go? I'm going to New York University. I'm going to study writing. Cacique, you better not tell her anything. No more cheese me. Or one day, you're going to be reading about it. And you think you'll make it? I think so. I do think you're a bit loquita, but that's what you need. I think you'll make it. Gracias, Pancha. No puedo. I try and I try and I can't. Esta cochinada no sirve. But who else could do it? Pancha, can you do it? I don't know anything about those new machines. Come on, give me the manual. Hey, look. 
put you on the oil you want. Lisa, if you love me, help me. Anna, come here, quick. Feel my stomach. Can you feel the baby kicking? No. <laughs> Emma, are you sure you're pregnant? I think so. I mean, Pancha, come touch my stomach. I'm busy by my garden, man. <laughs> but Panchita, Anna doesn't believe me. I don't feel anything. I think this heat is getting to you, too. I can feel it. How many months should you be by now? I haven't noticed you getting any bigger. I've always been fat. I haven't noticed either. Have you had symptoms? Not all of them. But I've been pregnant enough times to know. Are you going to keep it? What do you mean? You don't have to have it. Anna, I don't want to talk about this. Tusipo, why don't you make me a real woman? I can't have children. Why did you make me a woman? But Nita, I am going to set you up even if it's the last thing I do in this country. Alright. My threads, they all start from their spools onto their holes. Then straight down, go in between loops. They turn in between more loops. Then they go straight into their needles. Then the electricity comes on. And I insert a piece of a material. I step on the pedal. And ta-da! A chain of interwoven threads. I did it. You fixed it? Pero como? I persisted and I did it. <laughs> Mira, que inteligente. That's great, Estella. Now we don't have to worry about it anymore. you must have near the overlock machine. I fixed it. You did? Well, where are the zippers so I can get started now? You finished all the zippers. You did? Sonny, I'd rather you go back and get well. No, Estella, I'm fine. I can help. But it's not worth it if we keep fighting and getting sick because of this heat. It wasn't just the heat. I haven't eaten and that's why I fainted. I didn't want you to think that it was your fault. Why do you need to lose weight? That's flaca. Have you eaten already? You still look pretty pale. No, no, I, I'm not hungry by my partner. That's what you've been saying, look what happened. You, you need to eat something. I'm not hungry. Rosalie, you can't see yourself the way we see you. That's why you think you're fat. Rosalie, you need to eat something. I'm not hungry. You need to eat something. I 
not hungry because I've been living off diet for it. Hi, Rosalie. Don't you know those cochinadas is just no sirve? They're real bad for you. I read they're addictive. I know. When I fainted, I just saw my body lying there. I thought I was going to die. I couldn't feel my body. and Well, I just kept seeing Estella being deported. Stella, I don't want to come back to work. This is more important to me than being a size 7. Gracias. Can you stay late today? Claro. Pancha, you too? Pues, bueno. Entonces, todo está trabajar. Amma, let Rosalia do the overlock work. She's faster. I need you to do lot size 2 through 6. Pancha, I need you to do lot size 7 through 12. And Anna, you know what to do. <laughs> Whenever you're a foul with me in Mexico, 
Can you be pregnant so no man will look at me or desire me? I was very deep. I'm not used to the water. So after you were born, I just let myself get fat, hoping that you would be disgusted by me and not touch me anymore. Why didn't you just say no? Because, Miha, I was never taught to say no. But when you're pregnant, it's easy. You just say no. And then you get in the bed. Pancha. <laughs> And then you take the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you guys hot? I'm getting sticky. I'm gonna take my pants off. <laughs> Anna, aren't you embarrassed? No, you already think I'm fat. You know, Anna, you're not that bad looking. If you lost 20 pounds, you'd be very beautiful. Story of my life! Oh, go ahead, pick on me. Why don't you lose weight? Last time you lost weight, you were so thin and beautiful. Because I like myself. Why should I? Tina Carmen, I look very pretty. She looks good the way she is. Thank you, Pancha. That's because she's young. Girl, at this age, young girls should try to make themselves as attractive as possible. Why? Why not always? You're overweight too. <laughs> but I'm already married. So that's it. Make myself attractive so I can catch a man? Anna. Listen to them now, or you'll end up like Estela. I'm not, I want to lose weight, but part of me doesn't because it says to everybody, screw you! Ay, Maria Purisima. It says, how dare you try to find me and tell me what I'm supposed to be and look like. So I keep it on. I don't want to be thin for you or for anyone. Yeah, me neither. Otra. What's wrong with wanting to be thin for me or for anybody else? Because I want to be taken seriously. I want to be considered a person. You know, with Andres on our date. Uh, tell us, what happened on that infamous date? On our date, I got all fixed up. Then he showed up with jeans and a t-shirt. And he smelled like he'd been drinking. He asked me to go to the drive-in, and I said, why the drive-in? He said, because there he could kiss me and give me what I wanted. He said, I don't care if you're fat. I like you even better, more to grab on. That got me so angry. I thought he liked me for me, because he was impressed that I owned this factory, because of my intelligence. When am I going to meet the man who sees the real me? So that's what happened. Boris, if he has a brother, tell him about me. I think I'm going to die a virgin. <laughs> You're still a virgin? <laughs> I'm <laughs> dang. I don't know I meant. Nothing? Nothing. I felt fat ever since I can remember, and I didn't want anybody touching me until I got this. Is that why you were starving yourself? It's part of it. Well, Sunday, you're not a fat. Of course I am. Look at my nalgas and my hips. But I send out a fonte. No, these don't. I look like a cow. You look like a cow? Where does that leave the rest of us? Rosalie, you're so skinny into comparison with all of us. No, no, I am not. Look at my hips. That's nothing. Mira? <laughs> At least you have a waist. Sonia <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, that's nothing. <laughs> but you don't understand. I have all these stretch marks on my arms. They're small. I have stretch marks that run from my hips to my knees. <laughs> stretch marks. Stretch marks. You want to see stretch marks? Stretch marks. I'm not. What's that scar on your stomach? That one? That was Estella. <laughs> so big. Estella was and is a big baby. <laughs> Gave you the most trouble, didn't I? Mm-hmm. But it's all right. I heard Elizabeth Taylor has one just like it. What if someone were to walk in and see us like this? 
Pero que bien se siente. It feels good to take off all these clothes and just let it all hang out. So, this is how we look without any clothes. Just as fat and beautiful. <laughs> oh, we can finally relax. Uh-uh, we're not finished yet. Estella, all we need are fortune dresses. Those we can finish tomorrow for sure. So, what are we gonna do to celebrate? Celebrate what? Finishing on time for the first time? No, for all of us, most of us finally being legal. <laughs> <laughs> and once you have the card, you can do whatever you want. Then go fix. Estella, I've been thinking, why don't we copy the patterns for all these dresses and make them ourselves? I Maybe mean, we can even have a fashion show and model them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's a great idea. Why don't we make them in larger sizes? Hey, it's a loquita, but sometimes she makes sense. <laughs> Actually, we'd probably make more money if we sold them in larger sizes. You know what we could also do? Jaime could sell them in the flea market. And if we sell little by little, <laughs> we could grow and And from maybe... there, if we make money, more money than we are making now, we can rent a place downtown Broadway and start a boutique. But we'll need a name. Well, why not just Estela Garcia? No. No, 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 no. I was thinking something more French. No. French makes it sound chaka. No. Estela Garcia sounds just fine. Estela, maybe you could go to school and study fashion design and design our dresses. Yeah. I could do that. So, what are we going to do to celebrate? First, let's finish, then we can celebrate. Oh my lord, I'm so glad this is over. Can we open the door? Open the door? Well, I guess people who walk by could see us like this. I don't think they're coming. Besides, we're almost finished. Okay, I'm going to open the door. out there again. What? what? La migra. That's not La Migra. It's the police. That's the guy I thought was a spy. Yeah, like in the movies. It's a drug bus. Where? I think it's El Tormento's house. See, they're taking him away. That's what he deserves. <laughs> it's good they're taking him away in that van. Bola de viejos cochinos. Wait, Ama, was that the van you saw on Monday? I think so. Tuesday? I think so. Wednesday? Whiskey? Ama, everybody knows those vans are green. I didn't. How could you not know? I don't know. After so many years of being illegal, I just thought with his picture they were black. I don't know. Thank God! Que susto! Time for me to retire. Well, we can relax. For now. If you want, go ahead and take the rest of the day off. We can go? 
Bridget, are you sure? No, we've taken before. I changed my mind. Yes. Yes. Let's see how much more do I need. Then, then, what kind of mother would I be if I didn't give it back? Qué buena es. ¿Ve? Y no que no te quiero. It's because I love you so much that I make your life so miserable. Don't love me so much. I guess the American Express can wait. Here, take my check too. Gracias. <laughs> no, not me. I can't. I'm going to save up for a typewriter. I really need it for an essay. I can't. <laughs> Take half. Excuse me. I'm going to make a phone call. to know that because I wasn't I was educated I wasn't going to end up like them I was going to be better I was going to teach them about a women's liberation movement about sexual liberation and all things a so-called educated American woman knows but in their subtle ways they taught me about resistance about a battle no one was fighting for except themselves about the loneliness of being women in a country that looked down on us for being mothers and submissive wives Perhaps the greatest thing I learned from them is that women are powerful, especially when working together. As for me, well, I settled for a second-hand typewriter and was awarded a fellowship to New York. So I went, and I was a starving writer for quite some time before I went to New York University. But when I got back, the dreams for making a boutique were no longer a dream, but a reality. because I now wear original designs from Estella Garcia's boutique, Real Women Have Curves. Thank <laughs> you. 